This maths cast is on trigonometry. It's on the calculator paper and will be worth three to six marks depending on how hard the question is. There are three maths casts on trigonometry on the different styles of question. This is the first one. I recommend you do all three of the maths casts before you practice any of the questions. You need to know when and what type of question trigonometry will come up in. As you can see from the following two triangles, they are both right angle. This is the first thing you must look for. If a triangle is a right angle, it still doesn't have to be a trigonometry question. What you're also looking for is an angle. As you can see in both of these questions, sometimes they give you the angle, 23 degrees in the first one, or sometimes they ask you to work out the angle, x in the second one. The very first step in any trigonometry question is to label the three sides. We are going to label the sides H, which is the longest side, O, which is opposite the angle, and A, the other one, the adjacent. The longest side, H, is always the one the right angle is pointing at. It's often the diagonal one, but not always. As you can see, I've labelled it H in the diagram. The next angle you label is O, the opposite. This is the one the angle's pointing at. I've shown which one the angle's pointing at with a red arrow on the diagram. The final side is labelled A. Now you need to have a go. Label the sides O, A and H in these four questions. The following slide will have the answers. Did you get them right? If not, have another go. Right, let's have a go at an exam question. Here you see a right angled triangle with an angle in, so we know it's a trigonometry question. It gives us the longest side as 8 centimetres and it wants us to find x. The first thing we do on this question is label all of the sides O, A and H. I've done this for you. You can see H is the 8 centimetres because it's the longest side. You can see O goes next to x because it's opposite 23 degrees. And you see that A is the other one which is on its own. A is on its own. We've crossed it out because we're not going to use it for this question. Now we've crossed out A, we're ready to use Soccer Toa. You've all heard of Soccer Toa in your lessons, so I've written it down on the board in three separate parts. These are the three types of equations we can use. We now need to choose which part of Soccer Toa we're going to use for our answer. Is it going to be the SO, the CA, or the TOA? I've circled SO because we're going to be using it as there's no A in this part. The other two, CA and TOA, both have an A in, so we can't use them. We now make the formula triangle using SO. S goes in the bottom left, O is on top, and H is in the bottom right. They all go in this order. What we now need to decide is what we're looking for. In this case, we're looking for X, which is O. So we're looking for O in the formula triangle. If we cover up O, it leaves us with S times H. This is the formula we're going to use. Write down the formula, O equals S times H, and we're now going to plug in the numbers. S stands for sin 23, which is the angle. Please look how I've put the 23 in brackets. H is 8. You can see H is 8 because that's what it's next to in your triangle. You type this in exactly as I've written it on a calculator and you will get your answer. The answer is 3.1. I've rounded this to one decimal place, which the question will normally ask you to do. We've now completed one example of a trigonometry question. There's two more examples we need to go through. Here are four similar questions to what we've learned in this maths cast. Have a go at them and then take them to your teacher to check the answer.